Installing chains may seem like an intimidating task, but with proper instruction and adequate practice, it can become a fairly routine process. It's important to familiarize yourself with installing chains before they're actually needed. Don't let your first attempt be at the bottom of an icy hill. Instead, practice before the weather gets severe, in a warm, safe location like a terminal, truck stop, or open parking lot that permits tractor trailers. Before installation, confirm you have the necessary items and or tools. Safety vest, safety goggles, insulated work gloves, sturdy slip-resistant shoes, reflective triangles, a fifth wheel puller, a small shovel, and two flashlights. Chain installation is completed in 10 steps. In this video, we are installing 50 state legal cable chains. Some cables and latches may differ slightly from this particular cable, but the general process is the same for all cable types. Step 1. Once the tractor trailer is parked on a level surface in a safe area, remove the cables from their compartment and take them out of the bag. Confirm they're the correct size, which in most cases should be for 22.5 inch wheels. Step 2. Lay one cable flat on the ground in line with the truck and as close as possible to each tire you plan on chaining. Inspect each of them closely for any wear or damage. Make sure there are no tangles in the cross cables or twists in the side cables. Step 3. Pick up the cable, making sure the retainer clip is on the outside of the tire, facing away from the truck, and drape it over the top of the tire as evenly distributed as possible. Both ends should be touching the ground. Tuck the first cross cable under the front of the tire, in preparation to roll over it. If you're installing the cables in inclement weather, it may be necessary to use a small shovel or fifth wheel puller to push the cross cable under the tire. Step 4. Repeat Step 3 for all tires you're chaining up. It's important to do this for all the tires because when you're installing chains in certain areas, like designated chain-up areas, you'll have very limited space to roll forward. Step 5. Get in your tractor and enable the differential lock. Then pull forward about 3 feet and stop so the cables pass underneath the tires. Step 6. Secure the cable on the inside of the tire first. Pull the end of the cable with the adjuster links up to meet the open-ended link on the opposite side of the cable. Hook the open-ended link into the nearest adjuster link that provides a secure and snug fit. Pull and tug at the cable to try to get it to the shortest point possible and rehook the open-ended link into the closest possible adjuster link. Tuck the excess links inside the cable. Step 7. Now secure the cable on the outside of the tire. Play with the cable a little bit to get it as snug against the tire as you can. In many cases, the best option is to use your fifth wheel puller to get extra leverage to get the cable as evenly positioned and as tight as possible against the tire. Hook the nearest possible adjuster link into the retainer clip. Again, tuck any excess links into the cable. Step 8. For added security, it's recommended to have one spider bungee or two regular bungee cords for each tire you plan on chaining. Secure the spider bungee to the cable at all six points, making sure that one of the attachment points is on the clasp and that the rest are evenly distributed around the tire. For regular bungees, 18-inch cords are ideal, but 21-inch cords will work. Anything longer than that is too big. When using regular bungee cords, it's also important to secure one bungee to the clasp on the cable. Once that bungee is in place, attach the other bungee directly across from it, forming an X in the center of the hub. Step 9. Repeat steps 6 through 8 for all tires you're installing chains on. Step 10. Once all chains are properly installed, drive forward 20 feet and check their tightness. Then go down the road a couple of miles and check again. Tighten them as necessary. This completes the tire chain installation process. But before you go, let's review a few important things to remember when using tire chains in inclement weather. First, tire chains are only to be used to get you to a safe haven. If road conditions warrant their use, do not continue your trip as normal. Instead, get to a safe haven as soon as possible. 
Second, do not exceed 35 miles per hour or 15 miles per hour when turning, when chains are installed on your tires. Also, drive with the differential lock enabled when chains are installed on your tires. However, for a sharp turn in an urban environment, turn the differential lock off. Third, take care of the chains when they're in your possession. Follow the proper check-in, check-out procedures and keep them securely contained in their bag when not in use. Drivers are responsible for the chains issued to them and lost, abused or misplaced chains may result in fines or disciplinary action. Finally, only install tire chains in safe locations, away from the roadway or in designated chain-up areas where you are clearly visible to others. Under no circumstances should you install chains on the side of the road. This creates an extremely dangerous situation that could turn deadly in an instant, especially in inclement weather when visibility is poor. In these situations, contact Road Breakdown for assistance. If you have any questions on the chain installation process or chain use in general, please contact your fleet manager or see a safety specialist at the terminal.